Hi folks. So gate 2019 is around the corner. So this tomorrow day after this coming weekend and the next weekend uh, in this time frame all the gate papers uh, will be carried out and you will be writing the exams. I hope uh, your uh, preparations are going well. So I thought I'll make a short video about uh, the last minute tips that I could give you from a very personal perspective about what you need to focus about writing the gate exam in general. Okay, I would divide this video into two parts. I mean, uh, it will be a single video. Uh, so first I would like to talk about generally about giving examinations, uh, especially competitive examinations and later part I will give few tips specific to gate. Okay, it's so that I don't forget I have even noted down uh, uh, things here uh, in the book. So all the best for gate 2019 before that. Uh, so I have not cleared like all the exams uh, that I have written in my life, but I have given fair share of exams. Uh, all sorts of competitive examinations, Airport Authority of India, Patent Officer, Gate many times. Uh, the one thing that I have learned is to write the, give the exam without any kind of fear and try to extract maximum out of myself and to give, get maximum marks out of the examination. So I would like to impart few of my learnings in that process uh, to you. Okay, so first of all, first the main, main, main golden rule about writing any competitive examination let alone gate for that matter is to have absolutely no fear when you are writing your exam okay you should absolutely have no fear when you are giving the examination you should understand the fact that this is a competitive exam so what is a competitive examination your absolute marks don't matter okay this is a professional competitive examination you are only competing with your peers you only need to get better or you only need to perform as good as the best in the field in your students you don't have to get 100 out of 100 if the exam is for 100 if the exam is so tough that the top 1% of the people who write the exam are able to get only 30 so you only need to get around 29 and 30 to be to get a reasonably good outcome out of the exam that you are giving this you always need to keep in your mind because otherwise while you are giving the exam you get tensed okay so this is a competitive examination you are only competing with other students you are not competing with the exam as such okay this is not an absolute exam like a board exam. It is a competitive examination. You need to have this in your mind very, very clearly. This having this thought in your mind will help you face the exam without fear. This is one major thing. It's a it's a global aspect of writing any giving any competitive examination. Okay. Come that is one thing. Now uh, I will uh, talk about specifically about writing the examination. Uh, before that, what should you do? Uh, in my opinion, uh, in the eleventh hour before the examination like the day before the exam some people will be giving a uh, gate tomorrow some coming sunday and some next weekend right so uh, uh, there are different kinds of people there are some who can still continue to study till 10 minutes before the exam but there are people who wants to shut themselves out of everything uh, at least a day before the exam there are lots sorts of people uh, but <coughs> what i do or what i think might be good is uh, especially for an for an exam like gate uh, you stop solving problems on your own uh, solving uh, sums or numericals or problems on your own a day before the exam at least half a day before the exam like from today from the afternoon this is afternoon here right from the afternoon you can stop solving problems the thing is and better to look at solved problems or look at the theories or look at the notes that you have made or the formulas that you need to apply for the examination just do a passive learning don't do active learning by pro solving problems this is because suppose you take a new problem and you start solving it right the day before the exam and you are not able to solve it it affects your confidence level it affects your uh, moral morale okay your morale goes down on the other hand if you just look at solved problems keep looking at it see different approaches you might come across a new totally different problem but you are only looking at the solution right it will just get just go into you okay if such a problem comes i can apply such an approach so it's better not to do a very active learning the day before the exam you can do a passive learning like going through your notes looking at videos and uh, so look, best thing I do is to look at solved problems. Just keep looking at solved problems and try to get in as much as possible. And don't have any expectations the day before the exam. In the sense, don't have expectations that I will be able to cover these topics also today evening just before the exam. No, whatever you have studied till now only will contribute to your marks. These things will only refine your approach to writing the examination. Okay. That is what you should do before the exam. Correct. Now coming to the examination hall itself. Carry, so basic things are there, don't forget to take your pens, your calculators, uh, your water bottle, just to not get you tensed right before the exam, the hall ticket printouts, if you need to take a photograph, take those photographs, all those things, take blessings of your parents, 
if you are a someone who is uh, believing in god take blessings of your god but nonetheless you can take blessings of your god if you are fortunate that your par- uh, of your parents uh, they are your god living gods then go to the exam center you go into the exam hall you go in with full josh okay don't have any kind of nervousness or any inferiority complex okay that person has gone to hyderabad and prepared that person has gone there and prepared at the end of the day this is the exam day you are going to give your best today that's all that matters okay you go into your exam hall even if you have not prepared anything i'm telling you go full with full josh full confidence into the exam center look in front of, this is only online exam so you look in front of the paper and when you attack the problem you should always when you when you solve the paper right always 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 keep in mind always keep in mind that this is just a competitive examination and you need to solve as much maximum as possible treat it as a game that you are playing where you are trying to maximize your outcomes nothing else okay don't look at the future as future probabilities what happens if i don't get a good score what happens if i don't get a good rank nothing of that matters in that 3 hours when you are giving the exam in your when you are giving the exam you are playing a cricket match and your your possibility is to get maximum runs that's it nothing else okay so even with the amount of knowledge that you have be it 10% knowledge be it 110% knowledge you should be able to get maximum out of the exam with the amount of knowledge that you are having that is the fundamental goal of writing this competitive examination okay so when you go out with that mindset right how do you approach the paper don't go sequentially don't write sequentially many of you might be knowing these tactics but for those who don't know or for those who don't actively keep this in mind while they write the exam so many people will have lot of strategies they will make lot of strategies okay i will do this i will do that but when you go to the exam center right they forget everything they just panic so don't have that panic attack be very very calm and do tell remind yourself again and again that this is a competitive examination i should not have any fear and this is the approach that i will be taking again and again you remind yourself okay so what how do you have to do is go to the paper for an online exam this approach might be difficult but try to follow it as much as possible don't go sequentially do do mix and match okay because many times the how the papers are designed is that easy questions are there towards the end and towards the end you might not get time to solve them so but then that may not be the case all the time so you play with the probabilities okay stochastically you have to write your exam if you know stochastic processes so what you do is if you are good at aptitude if you are good at the basic engineering mathematics now i'm talking specifically to gate with respect to gate if you are good at aptitude if you are good at the engineering mathematics part focus on that finish that off first okay aptitude is will be almost very easy finish that off first mathematics also finish that off first i'm taking from a bird side view i will come to in solving individual problems tricks for solving individual problems also finish that off after that what you do is you play you mix and match you start solving from one from beginning then you go to the last question you solve that and you solve from here and there okay you might lose like 2 minutes in trying to s- search for questions but it will do you a world of good instead of going sequentially plus don't this will also allow you to be a bit like uh, what do you call uh, nimble the word in english is called nimble you will be in your feet that oh i have to solve this i have to solve that i have to go there i have to go there if you go sequentially right you your mind get, gets bored you get lethargic while you are giving the exam so you be aware and keep jumping the questions and don't sit on any question try to you you know your capabilities i cannot suggest times and all but you say that okay one and a half minutes i will focus on this question if i am not able to do or if i feel that i won't be able to solve you immediately go to the next question that's all that matters okay so uh, you jump around try to find out the easy questions fast 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 okay in the first 40% of your time that is available for your examination you find out these easy questions and try to solve them as to the best of your knowledge okay then there are some questions like comprehensive examination type questions okay so uh, such questions let's say there are three sets of comprehensive exam questions what is compre- uh, comprehensive questions is uh like well, there will be a big uh, problem that will be given they will ask three questions associated to that big paragraph okay even problems don't do th- if there are three such sets don't do all three of them together again your dry mind gets lethargic you get tired so when you get bored of doing single single questions go to one set of compre- comprehension questions solve that and again you go back to single single questions in between you go back to your comprehension questions that's the way to maximize the your outcomes in the examination okay that is clear i really don't want to make this video uh, long otherwise i'll keep on speaking about uh, tricks and tips and tricks uh, 
so uh, you can uh, so the, i don't want to make this video long so you can give your comments here for any specific doubts so now we have talked about generally how to go about the questions correct what is your mindset when you go into the exam hall uh, what you should be looking at the day before the exam correct now coming to specific questions right uh, i have the, this, this is a very big topic uh, i will I, i can only give few things that i believe and this is not a um, this is not a lecture because each peop, each person will will be able to approach their uh, problems in a different way so i i am nobody to tell you what you should be doing i can only tell what i believe uh, can or may help you so uh, the thing is uh, there are some tricks that you can follow uh, so don't be uh, what you call don't be linear in your thought process uh, and think out of the box even for simple questions that you're trying to solve okay uh, always be always think out of the box and innovatively innovation should drive you in whatever you do that's one of the basic uh, things of life so even so what happens is there are certain things the thing is that you know these things okay but when you when it comes to the exam hall right you you tend to forget many of the things and you go back to a very basic way of approaching exams which give which doesn't give you that much returns that's the sad aspect of life <laughs> so uh, so the thing is you always have a thumb rule that i whatever it is i'll try to apply these techniques and solve my problems okay that helps many of the times so what you should be doing is <coughs> few things like uh, one is make simplifying assumptions if you have been if you are given a very complex problem uh, uh, i cannot take an example and show right now but the thing is that okay there is an expression and uh, 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 they have asked you to find something you can always make a simplifying assumption of let's say what is x what would be you might know what is the value at x equal to 0 just put x equal to 0 if they tell if they tell you that uh, this thing doesn't have any velocity at zero time and you have an expression and you have been asked to choose between expressions and you put x equal to zero and if you have a, if it doesn't give the expression doesn't give you zero if it gives you some other numeric value you can automatically eliminate those choice options okay so you make simplifying assumptions huh? like putting x equal to zero t equal to zero or x equal to some specific value those things which can prove eliminate options for you finally it's about eliminating options so you make so the keyword is make simplifying assumptions second is use substitution there might be cases where you can always substitute your answer choices into your question and validate the problem given in the question and arrive at your correct answer i am telling ways many of you might know these things but i'm just putting it all together so that you keep it keep these things in your mind and apply it and make it useful make these techniques useful to you apply it so you you do substitutions with that you can again eliminate options so you make simplifying assumptions you make substitutions okay these things will help you eliminate many of the answer choices and eliminating answer choices is one of the main things and other thing is you go by basic principles and uh, uh, like dimensionality testing that's another thing dimensionality testing let's say you are asked to find velocity sometimes some of the choices might not have the dimension of velocity you can immediately eliminate that option because that will not be true let's say like t square by 3 something will be there but uh, you should you know that your out at least you know that your output value variable is in seconds then if t square is there second square cannot be the dimension of that right so through dimension analysis you can eliminate options these are very simple ways in which many questions can be eliminated and the people who are setting i am an iic so i know what is their mindset when they are setting questions they don't want you to solve complex problems okay they want you to apply basic common sense that you acquired through your scientific learning and apply it into complex problems and arrive at simplifying solutions that's what you're there looking for in git with and they have been successful in selecting good people with through that so uh, but some people have got immense amount of training that they just do it so that's a, a debatable question a uh, debatable topic so the thing is i will just again cut it short uh, do substitutions wherever possible make simplifying assumptions substitution simplifying assumptions and dimensionality reduction you can apply these things and solve many questions and simplify them and save your time okay hope uh, these tips were useful to you so again i'm telling you go with no fear in your minds keep your head held high approach it like sparta this is sparta okay just go for it give the exam with full pride don't if at all you get intimidated by people don't look at people just go in give your exam come out don't have any inferiority complex that is there no fear then you should not have any fear uh, so that we have covered then write your exam with intelligently write your exam okay jump around the questions solve basic easy questions first find out those easy questions and solve them 
Alternate between your comprehensive co comprehensive questions. Don't do them sequentially. Don't do your ex don't do your exam sequentially. Answer aptitude questions first. They will give you fetch your marks. Mathematics questions first. In the mathematics, you can apply these concepts that I have told. Substitution, simplifying assumptions, simplifying assumptions, substitution, simplifying assumptions, and dimensionality reduction. So these are the basic things. There are a lot of other things that you can try out. You can have, you can ask specific questions. I'll try to address them today uh, in the comment section. So all the best guys for your gate examination. Do well, give everything that you have got. Be happy about your journey till now in your preparation and give everything and try to maximize your outcomes. Success will be with you. You don't have to be worried. Be very happy about your life. Generally be happy. Try to be happy without your life. Whatever be the difficulties that you might be going in your personal lives. Be happy. Try to be happy so that you get maximum out of whatever effort you are making. Be it a competitive examination. Be it your work. Be it your PhD. Be it your research. Whatever it is. Be happy. Try to get maximum out of your efforts. That's it.